Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation and welcome to a long-awaited uh, update on how to build your very own 1 to 400 scale model airport. Uh, I know this has been a very long time, so I do apologize for that. Today we're going to be covering how to do your uh, grass, lay it down, cut it, uh, which grass to purchase. I'm going to start off by kind of listing the materials you will need to do this. Uh, first thing we're going to start from left to right, we have a tape measure. Um, you don't need a tape me measure, you can probably use a ruler, but if you're um, covering long spaces that a ruler won't be able to cover, I'd suggest using a tape measure. Moving to the right, a pen's always handy to write down measurements, same with a pencil. Uh, you'll also need an eraser. We then have my sheet of paper, which is very important. Um, so here you can see we've basically done the measurements for one particular section. This is for the section near the spotting area. And you can probably see we've done it in centimeters. So like 29.2 centimeters down, uh, 34.5 across. So then essentially once you've got all the measurements done, you uh, take the grass, which can be seen at the top of your screen. Uh, I'll show you guys a bit of a close up, like the brand of that in a second. So you guys can get the same one if you want. Uh, I'm not sure, this isn't an English brand. Uh, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be available in like particular countries. It is available in Melbourne, Australia, um, but I'm not too sure where else it could be available. However, there are of course variants um, of this particular grass that you could always get. Uh, just check with your uh, local hobby shop. So um, yeah, these were the measurements I was talking about. So essentially you're just going to use a ruler, which of course is on the screen, and you're going to pretty much... I'll just attempt to do it now. Um, go like that. Work out, oh, that's uh, something like 15, 14 centimeters. You would then draw out like a template, how I've done here. It doesn't have to be to scale. Uh, and then I would label, oh, it's 14, I mean, 14.7 centimeters. You write that down. You then, I'll just move this. This grass isn't stuck down because we're gonna stick that down in the video today. Um, but then you would take the grass, which doesn't look like this at the start, by the way, might I add. You've got to cut this out. It starts off just as a massive roll. You might be able to see here. Uh, it just starts out of like a massive roll that's kind of like a mat and you cut from there. Best to start off when cutting on the corners of that, because uh, you want to avoid, I don't know, like using too much grass. Because uh, you want a lot left over in case you're going uh, for odd shapes, not just squares. Uh, like you'll know my um, domestic gates, I've had to put down grass and it's kind of like a T. That's very awkward to cut so uh, you might want to do the odd ones first so then you can kind of understand uh, how much space is left for your larger pieces. Like this is, uh, I don't think this is my largest piece but it's definitely the longest uh, in length, not width though. Uh, so we'll stick that down. To stick down your grass, you're going to want to use PVA glue or some sort of glue. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, and when gluing it down, what I've found best is uh, starting off with, of course, putting down all the glue. I'll put down the glue on the PDF board first. It can go on paint, it's fine, because as you can see, I've got a bit of paint here. Uh, ignore that, the grass will still go over it. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to put the PVA glue down. And then essentially you're going to work it like this and rub it because um, if you don't stick it down correctly, if you just put it down in the one spot and just push down on it, you will see um, sort of bubbles. Uh, the grass will start to come up and it, it doesn't look very nice. So you're going to want to ease it down with your hand. Um, I'll show you guys a demonstration in a second, but that's the best way to stick it down. Um, as for how much you need, that's up to you, and as for like where you want to put it on your airport, again, that's up to you. Um, if you want to try and make it look realistic, the place I'd go for would um, be, of course, in between the runway and the taxiway. It's kind of what they always do at airports, um, that's why I did it. Um, if you have your runway like in the middle of your airport, consider putting uh, grass on either side. Uh, it probably will look better, or maybe some gravel, I don't know, it's up to you. Um, if you're including a spotting area, not many people have done that, but if you do want to, um, I'd also recommend putting like a small bit of grass, how I've done. At the end of the runways, I would also recommend putting grass, and I guess then it's really up to you. If you've got remote holding stands, you could think about doing what I did, 
uh, with my grass. Again, it's all up to you. I'm just here to give you guys some suggestions. So when it comes to the glue, the glue I'll be using is PVA glue. Sorry, that wasn't over here. Uh, it's PVA glue. This is the brand. It's boil, non-toxic, acid-free, dries clear. That's a very important thing when it comes to selecting your glue, that it dries clear. Um, because, of course, when you put it down, it's all um, white. So when I stuck down my trees, uh, the finished product, it was completely white, which made it very, very difficult. Um, like, And I was kind of worried and concerned. Oh, well, it's going to turn up white now, and it's going to look very odd in the spotting area. I might have to lay more pe pebbles. But that's not the case. This dries clear, which is, the grass doesn't really affect it. Um, but it does help if you're adding finer details like, I don't know, smaller bits of grass because you've got to be mindful when you put the PVA glue down here um, and you're pushing down the grass, PVA glue will come out from here and you're going to have to just use a tissue, napkin, something soft because of course you don't want to scratch the um, paint just to remove the um, glue. That's what I'd suggest. So now we're going to get on to laying down the PVA glue and we'll move on from there. What the glue looks like, now I've put it down, but uh, one thing before you actually stick down the uh, grass that you're going to want to do is get a small brush and essentially just brush it out. Uh, so even it out, get rid of the massive glutes because this is going to be a problem when you eventually stick down the grass. So um, I'm just going to do that now uh, and I'll skip forward to laying down the grass in a second. Quick update, this is what it looks like now, spread out all the glue. Um, I can't do the sticking down of the grass on camera because I don't want to mess it up. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a second with the grass down. Now that the grass has been stuck down, the most important thing is to put something heavy on it. Cover the whole entire thing with books, uh, really anything you can find that is heavy um, because you need that grass to set. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now and then I'm going to conclude the video. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm not sure which episode this is, but um, the laying down of your grass episode, I guess we'll call it. Um, I do really appreciate the support on this series, and I'm sorry there was such a long wait. I hope it's worth it. Um, I've tried to cover as much as I know in this particular episode, and I just want to say um, I'm by no means like an expert at this. I'm just giving you guys some guidance and assistance, uh, because I know you guys kind of want some help with it all. Um, so I could be wrong, but this has worked for me um, on multiple occasions, so uh, I thought I'd just share my advice with you. That's kind of the whole point of the series, because I know a lot of you come here for the uh, model airport sort of stuff, not the plane swatting, so I try to cater for like all of your needs uh, as best as possible, and I understand like sometimes I do struggle to do that, but I try my best. So if there's anything that wasn't covered in this video that you still need help with, uh, feel free to leave a detailed comment and I'll be more than happy to answer you, give you links to sites, uh, and if you need any help with anything else to do with the airport, I'll be more than happy to help. Um, next episode, I believe, will be um, not the terminals just yet, because I've actually got uh, like major delays with that in um, acquiring particular stuff for it, like material-wise, uh, windows and gates I need, um, but I'm struggling to find the right ones, so that might happen in... November or December, probably no, December I'd say, is when I'll finish the terminals and do an episode on them. That will be quite detailed, so stay tuned for that. Uh, until then, I'm just thinking now I might uh, talk to you guys about the spotting area, because uh, I'm quite proud of how that's turned out, and I think you guys, because uh, not many people have it, it might be a cool addition to like any airport that you guys might want, so that will be the next episode. I might record it uh, at the same time I'm recording this, so... Uh, it should be out in maybe two weeks. Uh, don't hold me to that date, though, because I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, once again, thank you guys for watching. Again, if I left something out, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. And subscribe if you're new. The full playlist with every single episode in order will be in the description and the pinned comment, so you can go back and watch the videos. Uh, and once again, I appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.